James Cal Tustin, Twitter.com. I'm on your Belinda Boulevard in between Fullerton College, the Hornets on the right side, and Cal State Fullerton on the left side, the Titans. James Cal Tustin, and what I'm going to talk about is the price of gas, how it's gone up from 219 now to 389 on the average for 89 and how quickly it's gone up. And the first thing I'd like to do is propose is the education part of the oil company aspect. And I think starting at a young age, all the way through junior high school, high school and college, the general population should be educated entirely on the new technologies of how to produce oil, number one. That way these oil companies don't get the monopoly because they are the only people that have the ability to actually do the work. And if we decide to tax them, which since they're going to increase our prices and they're not paying taxes, the billions of dollars that they're making now on us, we're going to have them pay taxes on it. Now what's going to happen is, is they're going to retaliate for having to pay taxes. So we need to have a, an idea for that not to happen and if it does happen then people are prepared to actually do the work themselves and replace Mobil and Chevron with other oil companies starting with Yorba Linda and Fullerton Oil Company who can actually drill the oil and do the work and sell the oil versus Chevron and all these other companies at, our, at their mercy and charging what they want number one. Number two, if they're going to continue to charge us these kinds of prices, then we might be able to find different ways on how to travel, starting with the Skywalker and other ways to travel than using our cars. You know, I was in a hospital right now, and it was a shame that this lady on a wheelchair said she spent $38,000 for a wheelchair, which costs more than a um, brand new car. So that's just another thing that's just unacceptable is charging elderly people double and triple for a machine that's only about six thousand um, dollars. The oil companies need to know that if they're going to put this kind of pressure on the economy and make the economy to where they're at, we're at their mercy and not paying federal and state taxes or one or the other, that they're going to have to start paying taxes in order to do business in the United States. And the government is gonna to need to find a way to fix this loophole, which continues. These companies don't pay taxes and then they have the ability to raise the price from 225 to almost $4 a gallon and then everyone's business is affected and then everyone's purchasing power is affected and the entire economy changes